Ja, ich bin der Mike's Daily Podcast. Hi, it's ep- ep- episode 1098. Hey. I'm Mike Matthews, that's Haley the Semi. Hi, Mike Matthews, I'm Haley the Semi. The Semi Truck! Broom. Hey, how you doing there, big buddy? Good buddy, what's up? Haley, uh, one of Haley's sisters had a baby. That's congratulations. Mike's Daily Podcast. My sister-in-law, yeah. Congratulations there. To her, indeed. Oh. Mike's Daily Podcast. We have Benita, the disgruntled player of the Brewmaster on today's show, and I wanted to say I'm having a snit fit because I found out that a particular device is inaccurate. And that device, you may know, it's called a Fitbit Cal Poly. They apparently looked into it, and it apparently is not as accurate as they were saying is what I'm saying. Mike's Daily Podcast. Very interesting. I have a Fitbit in my pocket that's broken, but I feel as if it is still tracking my movements. Mike's Because I have Daily Aluminum Foil Podcast on my head. Yeah! yeah. Yeah, we're, All right. we're waiting for Marco. That's the new guy. Hey, welcome to 1098. Yeah, we're so close to 1100. It's extreme. I need to have I'm a, a party. Scared. I need to have a party. Why? Yeah. Why would you be scared? Uh, the, the world is anew. And it's a flame. I am. Uh, I'm entering unfamiliar territory. We always are. I've That's never life. done over a thousand of everything, of anything. Maybe I've drank over a thousand cups of coffee at this point. That could be probably true. Yeah, so it's 11, uh, well, 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 1100. Hmm. And you're, when you're on the show, we're going to like call your segment the Daily Haley coming up soon because our schedules are going to change. So the hope is we'll be able to to do this. That's my hope. Mm -hmm. What'll happen is we'll be recording this and we'll have a window that is open to a a bustling corporation. So people are going to walk by and look at us and and smile. And I think that's what, except for our engineer, Mike, not John Deere, the engineer, but the other engineer, who's going to look at us and go, what the hell? Look who just walked in. Hi, Mike. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. Hi. As a disgruntled fiddle player, tell you what. <gasps> Thank you. What? Hey, uh, I heard y'all had a rodeo this past weekend. There was a rodeo. There was a rodeo in Podcastro Valley over the weekend. Oh, they had a huge American flag, Haley, and it caused people to slam on their brakes on the on the on the 580. I, I say the 580 because I'm from the Southern California originally. It's true you are from the Southern California. And we like the word the. And there was so people slam on their brakes because they see this huge American flag. I mean it was big. But I mean come on. You're causing accidents because of America? Yeah, that's 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 the American way. Oh okay. I was perturbed by that. If you don't abruptly stop in the middle of the freeway and recite the Pledge of Allegiance while standing on the roof of your car, you could get arrested. (laughs) Haley speaks the truth. That's right. You gotta say the American Pledge of Allegiance whenever you are out talking with your hat on. Like my hat. You like my hat, Haley? Answer, Answer me. David, thank you. You like my head, Haley? I'm Benita the Rodeo Queen. I like horses. Ah! Horses are scary. Horses are nice. I pet them. And then I feed them a little bit of kibble. And then I take them for a walk with the leash. There are that- far more horse-related deaths yearly than there are shark-related deaths. You just brought us up. <laughs> What? There's way more horse related than shark deaths? Oh, without a doubt. Okay. So put that in your pipe and smoke it, Benita. I like to teach my horse how to sit and roll over. You're talking about a dog. What? No, no she could be talking about a horse. Shut up, y'all. Bye, bye. I'm out of here. 
Yeah, she could, I guess, be talking about a horse. Yeah. So Fitbits are inaccurate. Yeah, okay. It's uh, fine. Which apparently when I go full time with the new with the company I'm gonna be going full time with, I should have a Fitbit to log my walking because then I get points or something. Yeah, you get some sort of points and then you can get like a discount on your healthcare or something. I don't know. I am not on the company healthcare because I was offered a better one through my father, as oh. I'm still connected to that because I am a youngin. You are a youngin. And that's that's fine. What do you think as a youngin about Emma Watson being in a live action version of Beauty and the Beast that is going to be made since now the Jungle Book was such a huge topper, massive movie. Now they're going to redo all the Disney movies as live action. It's not the Jungle Book that started it off. It's the Cinderella movie that started it off. And I'm just going to do with all of them now, I'm sure. And I'm not exactly excited by that because it got old like when the first one came out. Okay, I'm not gonna go and uh, dance. Then apparently, hey, hey, man, man, yeah, don't let me stop you. <laughs> let me tell you right now. Just let me <laughs> tell you. <laughs> you can dance if you want to. You, you can leave your friends behind. Because your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, then they're no friends of mine. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcast or Valley Mont. The last place on earth is where we are. It's kind of scary. It's a barren wasteland out there. He joined us earlier inside cafe anyway, but now he's outside with us. Now it's the brewmaster. Hey! Hey, how you doing? I'm the brewmaster. Oh, boy! Everyone give him a hand. Yeah, I'll cut you. Oh, don't I stop giving that. him a hand. He doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, rip you. Oh, boy. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. You know, speaking of beer, they found a 500-year-old Chinese beer recipe archaeologists found. 5,000. Did I say 500? I yes, meant 5,000. That's a bit more extreme. We should make it. Oh, and you know what they did? They made it, and it tastes like piss. Because it's beer. <laughs> Take that, Kevin. Going to 21st Amendment for his new job. Kevin's so out of here. Yeah. Kevin keeps saying, if they don't like it, they can eat a bag of d-. I don't like that expression. It does not sound appetizing in any way. He told, I, I saw him on the way out yesterday, and he was like, he was like, I'm trying to use the phrase, what are you going to do, fire me as much as possible. <laughs> 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 I love him so much. I so want to do that when I am on the leaving. Yeah. Yeah, here's my two week oh. notice. What are you going to do? Fire me? <laughs> I totally didn't take advantage of that with my last job when I was. Oh, by the way, speaking of many, many years in the past, 20, 247 million years ago. Apparently, they found a... Oh, they found a 247-million-year-old fossil. Okay, yes. so 247-million-year-old, that is... Jurassic? Period? That could be. Jeff Goldblum was around then. Yeah, okay. Laura so there Dern. Was, Richard Attenborough. So, there's... Okay, what are the three dinosaur periods? There's Jurassic... No, uh, there's something else. Jurassic and Cretaceous, which is the last one. Is it Trisopitaurus? I wish. It might be Jurassic and Jurassic. Pleistocene? No, that's before. Oh, okay. That's before the dinosaurs. Good job. Pleistocene. <laughs> Pulling that <laughs> shit out. That uh, actually, it might, it's either before or after. It takes a lot to impress Haley. That's <laughs> Wow. Well, apparently they found many reptiles that survived extinction. Marine! Marine, Marine reptiles, yeah. That marine reptile dysfunction when they <laughs> when they when they survived extinction, they apparently started evolving f- faster. They did super evolving. It was yeah. called super evolution. Yeah, because sea creatures, sea monsters, are badasses. <laughs> yeah, and deserve and- all of your respect. If we still had all of the sea monsters. And those creatures, as they were in prehistoric times, then there would definitely be more shark-related deaths than horse-related deaths. 
you brought that right back around. And that's why today's show is going to be called Sea Monster. Sigmund the Sea Monster. That was a children's show that I had growing up where they had a bunch of guys in big rubber sea monster outfits walking around. That's adorable. At a beach. I'll send you a link. It was made by uh, the um, the same people that did HR Puffin stuff and Lidsville. Did you ever okay. see those? those I've are... heard of Puffin stuff. Crofts and something. Not Seals and Crofts. It should have been. They. I think that Crofts, though, was related to that other Crofts. Really? That's funny. Because everybody was related in the 70s because there was only two people around. Yeah, I knew that. And they wore bell bottoms. It was Hall and Oates. You're a rich girl, and, and you're you love to fuck, and you know it don't matter anyway. Rich girl, you can rely on the old man's money. You can rely on the old man's money. It's a bitch girl. Bitch girl, gone too far, cause you know it don't matter anyway. Bitch girl, you can send money, but it won't get you too far, get you too far. Oh, Daryl Hall. What a goddamn voice that man has. It's true. She's. Wow, you're a rich girl. You're out of touch. I'm out of time. Time. But I'm out of my head when you're not around. Reach out for something to hold. Time. <laughs> Love those guys. Good, good people. They freaking play here all the time in the Bay Area. It's, they they still play stuff together. And my final topic, speaking of the Bay Area, the commute time here is just out of control. Even at four in the morning? Well, <laughs> I spoke to the guy I have to call up in the morning sometimes mm-hmm. who lives over in Palo Alto. He says it takes to get to Moffett Field, which seems like it'd just be a stone throw away from Palo Alto. I don't really know. I don't go around that side of the bay much. He said it's like an hour and a half commute in wow. the, the, the traffic. It's a lot. And that girl I dated from OkCupid, the mm-hmm. only girl I dated from a damn dating app, she was so stressed all the time because of all the driving she had to do. She would, like was in San Mateo and had to drive down to the, um, you know, the Silicon Valley and she was always stressed. Right. That's how I would be if I drove. And my last downer topic is Maya Tomita. Did you hear about that? Maya Tomita? Apparently she was stabbed. She's in critical condition. Oh. Well, best of wishes to whoever do you she li- is. Do you listen to her? She's like a pop artist from, is it China? Oh. Japan? No. I don't listen to her. Oh. Jarell probably knows about her. Okay. That was a downer. Why did I stop on a downer? Sea monsters! Sea monsters! <laughs> sea monsters are sti- I, I love them. I showed you the, my favorite weird whale from the sea monster era. It's got like a circular saw yeah. attached to its bottom lip. It has a circular saw on its lip. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know how that's practical in the slightest. And you know, and they eat something called krill? No. No, this is a... What's Krill. Krill is uh, tiny little shrimps, basically. Oh. Tiny, tiny, tiny little crustaceans that float around. But doesn't a, some type of whale eat that? Oh, yeah. Most modern whales do, but there is a lot of predatory whales. Oh. In the past. There's still a fair amount of predatory whales. Um, sperm whales are huh. predatory. They will eat me. Orca whales are predatory. They'll definitely eat you. Is there any other predatory whales that I can think of? Modern day times. Krill is such a strange name. It's like one letter away from saying kill. They kill a lot of krill. Or grill. Mm. Mm. What's something you'd like to grill? A little piece of whale? Krill. Krill. Grill, krill. <laughs> grill some krill. Um, that's pretty much it. So that's it. That's the show. <laughs> we just went. You know what? The Hall and Oats tired me out. Yeah. Well, 
So I I was in I was at the hospital last night. What happened? Are you okay? <laughs> you already did, you already discussed. My sister in law had a kid two days ago, and we were visiting them in the hospital. What's What's really funny is Haley has been um, introducing nephews and nieces into the world since Haley was four. Four. So that means Haley has nieces and nephews that are almost his age. Yeah. That will grow old with him. Yeah. It's weird. But so, yeah, the new one came in, so I, I was visiting with people, family. I got to see my sister, who I don't oh. see very often. And then I see my brother and my sister-in-law, who I see sort of often, but not that's that often. That's awesome. I'm a huge fan of big families, mm-hmm. since I have not a huge family here in America. Yeah, we didn't used to have a big family. It's just growing, because they keep having kids. So... Yeah. So that means your genetic line will proliferate the planet. Nope. Nope? Nope. We have fabulous hair. I mean, that means we're going to have a bunch of humans with fabulous hair. Probably not. Because it's a blended family, so oh. my actual genes are a little bit different than all of their actual genes. My mother's genes are going to spread far and wide. Oh. Wait. Because you... Oh, wait, are your parents... Wait, yes, you're not my parent. My parents are my parents. My mom is my brother and sister's mom. And then my oh. dad is my oldest sister's dad. Dad. Oh, I see. It's That's the way they became the Brady Bunch. Yeah, well, it's yours, mine, and ours. Oh. So. Love. I love that. Mm-hmm. It's wonderful. With Family. six, you get egg roll or something. <laughs> <laughs> these these are all the classic movies that I have definitely seen. <laughs> but you had not seen Full House. I did not watch a lick of Full House, and I am content with my life <laughs> as far as that fact goes. That's why you still have brain cells. So the late night, being out, and then it, like we were like, oh, well, we'll just head down there. It doesn't seem like they're ready to get visitors yet because they're trying to get out of the hospital. So we'll just go get something to eat. And then we didn't. We didn't no! get something. And so we got out of that place. We, like, sent them home and got out, like, at almost nine. And then we went to Denny's. Oh, hey, Mike. This is Marco. I'm the new board op here. I'm in the studio for training since this is the shift I'm going to be taking. Wanted to give you a heads up. He's here? He's here, and he's texting us. He's here. We're in here, Marco! 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 Polo. Oh, we had to do that once. Let's see that. (laughs) All right, that means we should have. And here's today's podcast picture. All right, thank you. Next, oh, the podcast picture is of a very fancy, huge Hummer that was pink that I saw in San Francisco. It's a limo. It's a limo Hummer that I saw on Saturday. And then the next show, we're going to have Madame Rutabaga Valentino, Bison Bentley. Thank you, Haley, for being on the show. Thanks. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.